Hey, Mark the Meerkat Suffering here at Free Online, TradingEducation.com. I'm an analyst, host of the Rockstar Trading Room, a trader, and maybe I'm your future mentor. And here's a trade that we had this morning in the Rockstar Room on a real big mover today, INSM. It was down like at 20% here at opening, but look at this. It was down a whole lot more than that, and I picked up about 5% in pre-market. But this line is at the opening, and what happened at opening? It came up, and it did a big bull pull back here and then shot up here it was kind of high basing so I said to folks if it breaks this high right here I want it to be long so I set a trade let's see what happened next boom there we go and now I am long at nine dollars and fifty two cents let's pull this down so we can watch it happen and look at that it not only shot up it shot way up here and then pulled right back and then it's just as I'm getting my stop set, we had this little flash drop here and right came right back up before I could get my stop all the way in place. And it's now in place here just under the 8 EMA. But we're back to the money. And now it's high basing here. And I've drawn this trend line down below here. And then this thing, I want to pull this down here and show you that it was starting to form what we call a rising wedge. And as we and I was beginning to be, become very nervous because the rising wedge is bearish. So I'm keeping my stop fairly tight here, just underneath this trend line now. And let's see what happened next. It's still, and see, it's still inside the wedge, still inside the wedge, getting nervous, getting nervous. And it's still in the wedge, though, even though it is still going up. So I keep moving my stop up here, moving my stop up here, just above this 20 moving average. But if it breaks below that trend line there, I want to be out. And boom! Look at that. It shot right up above it. So this is no longer a valid thing. All of these lines on here are from when I was actually trading this morning. This is from my trading platform. But look at this. It broke out, and now it's what's it forming. Now it's forming what we call a bull pennant. And they just a pinching pattern here at the end of a big of a run up there. I mean, this run up here represents what? Uh, about 4% jump there. So it's in there, it's inside there. So bringing my stop up here just underneath the 8 EMA. Let's see what happened next. Well, it's going up. All right, it broke out from there, broke out from there. And uh, this is the high of day there, and it's uh, running along that way. And at this point, I just didn't want to break this $10.20 mark. So I went ahead and I took out half here at $10.19 for 7% on the first half. All right, let's pull this down and see what happened next. Boom! There she goes. She finally broke out above that 1020 area and went all the way up here to 1060 and then pulled back hard here. And uh, again, I'm moving my stop up uh, just underneath uh, the 8 EMA here. And it's starting to form another symmetrical triangle up here. And it's just starting to form it. And you see as we go along here, Actually, I drew those in uh, at about this point. And I was pulling my stop up underneath the 8 EMA. And then right here, it, you know, I'm sorry, the 20 and the 20 moving average. And then right here, it broke below and got me out at $10.50 for 10.9% on the second half. So this total trade along here, half out right here, and the other half here on the break of the 20 moving average was for a total of 8.95% in one hour and two minutes. hoo -ah. Yeah. But, you know, it, this may look like a lot of lines, but I'm actually drawing these while I am trading. Well, this is Mark the Meerkat Suffering. I'm just here to tell you that as a trader, we must focus always on doing what is right as opposed to being right. Thanks, Dr. Alexander Meeker.